Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. All righty, guys. Look who it is. It's old Leroy. Basically, we have to have this thing ready to go for LS Fest in two days. So today, what we're going to do is clean up this engine bay. And then I got a box to show you inside. Takes the speed hustled. Got us our engine back. Look at this turd, dude. So dirty. Disgusting. So got a bunch of stuff to clean up. We're putting the motor back in this unit. Leroy should be running very, very soon. Feel like you're straight up polishing a turd right now? Oh yeah, never washed a car with no body. It's actually more difficult than a car with a body. Everyone's like, oh, it must be so easy. Looks a lot better though. Look at all that grime that came off. Oh yeah, it was caked on. Good old Everstar, dude. That thing probably needs a charge. That thing's from 1994. Full wash down, boys. Almost time to work on him. All right, guys, so we got Leroy going back together and uh, he's gonna be making a lot more power. He had four bent rods before. Very, very leaky valves. I mean, those suckers, what was the leak down on those things? 60%. Yeah. Not plus dialed across in. the board. So not only do we have a shorter rod and leaking valves, the compression was down. Now we have a fresh engine, which we're gonna show you, but we're gonna need a fresh clutch to handle all them new horsepowers. What we got in here is something special from the guys at Black Magic. We had that one clutch in there. What was that, the next gen? single disc 10 inch deal uh man that thing worked great we went a 767 with a herd engine so that was pretty good now we got bigger turbos an engine with compression more so compromised than hurt because hurt they don't run yeah. compromised they still run still ran so now it well smoked a lot now we have the new defiant Ooh. clutch from the black magic another white kid in there so these guys have. are the leaders in uh this this market for these slipper clutches and man they make some cool stuff so this is their whole new deal i haven't even seen it Ooh, oh she's clean look at that unit dude that's bad to the bone for those of you guys who don't know this is a slipper clutch so it's not like your normal clutch this sucker actually has weights on it higher the rpm the more the counterweights create centrifugal force and it actually slips the clutch so when you leave off the line drop the clutch and it goes Brrrah. those counterweights make so much pressure against that single disc that it can hold this you know 2000 horsepower engine back and put it down to the track i don't understand the science but shout out to our boys at black magic clutches it comes from the nasa technology mm -hmm. against the rocket ship yeah right <laughs> so, the weights go. yeah no weights on it yet man these arms look quite a bit sturdier actually so cool man Fully adjustable, so uh, Kale from Black Magic sent me the specs he wants us to use. So we'll be putting these uh, nuts and bolts and washers on there. That's what's actually the counterweight. And uh, basically, at that point, we just floor it. There's no other. Dump the clutch. There's nothing floor. else to it. You just let it rip. All right, other piece of the puzzle that we're going to be installing today on our boy is old engine. So this is the same engine that was in Leroy, same block. Had to get some new rods. The uh, the bent ones, you know, just weren't doing it for us. And then we got, I mean, this, you can see she's a dirty girl still. But it's done. Yeah, it's done. That's the good news. Same heads, same block, same crank, new bearings, new pistons, new rods. They're thinking that at one point in Leroy's old life, there was a hydro lock situation that uh, tweaked a couple rods and also uh, just got some water or fuel in the oil and then there was some piston shaping on the cylinder walls and stuff so had to get some fresh pistons but she's ready to go dude see the old, old orange block block back in action yeah we'll get this pulled out we'll get it all dressed up and you gotta uh, think about it we took a compromised motor and put two bigger turbos on it I know. and went the fastest it ever went yeah. probably down 300 <laughs> horsepower i know and the crazy thing is it started smoking really bad before that one race week. We took it on that race week, 
Then we took it to TX2K, made 10 seven second passes. Then you and I made the side by side seven second passes, Ruby and Leroy in Houston. Yeah. Then we took it home, then we took it to Vegas, and then we pulled the motor out. Never blew up. Well, we found the uh, that rocker was off and it was just sucking the oil in. Craziest deal, dude. So you gotta, I mean, these things are impressive. Dude. There's no- LS you know. the world. Yeah. So I'm glad we got to keep the same everything. It's just freshened up. So today, plan is to throw this sucker in Leroy, get the turbos hung on him, everything. Uh, Zach's planning on cleaning up some wiring. We got to remake some oil lines. I mean, to be honest, there's some cooked parts on Leroy. And there's vacuum lines that have been electrical taped for years. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on that get deal up. that has been on there since the car was built. Yeah. And then I got some new injectors coming for him too, so. Looking good. Oh, let's put some cleats valve covers on it too. We got them. Yeah, some big we got the prototypes here, you know what I'm saying? That's This is back when the deal was going down. Now the deal has gone down. Yeah. We're partners in motion, so we got to throw on our cleater valve covers. All right, guys. Time for a big shout out to RNL Carriers. Uh, we didn't notice this until we got the uh, side of the pallet off. See how when we first opened the box, you can see this valve cover on the right is actually not on correctly. You can see it's knocked forward already. And then you can see the pallet on the right side the side is actually already ripping off. Bolts are still tight, but valve cover is completely shifted off the head. Um, definitely, most likely got dropped. Lid screws still in, side piece screws still in, wood was broken off. Uh, I had to go ahead and drill these two bolt heads off to get the valve cover off, and under further notice, valve cover slid into the valve and bent this valve and this one like a big lip overhanging the uh, valve cover from where the pallet had been dropped and it actually ripped the lag bolts out of the pallet and knocked the uh, valve cover up so far that it bent one of the brand new valves and actually bent two of them and so now Leroy will not make the LS Fest unless we can figure out some sort of uh, high speed plan. Get Cylinder head overnight, it, we yeah. Can do the head real quick like this. It's gonna be the only option. Yeah, it's like just being so far off center, my tool won't work. I know, might have to use a different wrench with a hole in it. <laughs> All right, so guys, Texas Speed found us a new head. So they have a head, but they don't have valve springs in stock. So we're gonna maybe reuse these, but Summit Racing has a set in stock. But uh, Tech Speed has valves and a head, and we can reuse everything else. They are gonna send us one new rocker because uh, yeah. that one rocker did get hit pretty hard. And then this one got really like hit and oh, chipped no. the whole edge of it. Okay. So, looks like we might have a solution. The only problem is we're freaking out of town tomorrow and then we leave the day after. Shout out to Texas Speed, always coming in clutch. Donnie said he's ready for LS Fest. His first big trip in the big trailer. Ooh, baby. Love this steering wheel. Hell yeah. Popped her off of there, dude. Yeah. I mean, you could see. <laughs> that thing is RIP'd. Yeah, it actually mushed the guide into the head and has this retainer stuck oh, so that keeps to... the bottom of the spring from riding on aluminum yeah. and also centers it. So now what we need a retainer too? We need yeah, a retainer. You can see see how far it's pushed okay. over to this side of the head. Yep. See how there's a gap between that screw there and not up mm -hmm. here. It's got the whole thing rock. stuck. Yeah. That's a tough I break, tapped on that. Brand new units. I slid the head over like this and I tapped on the valve a little bit with that hammer to see if I can get it to, they won't even Pretty budge. Up, yeah. Like it's got like this much movement. That's yeah, we'll let, the meat, we'll let the machine shop repair it and get it back. Let me take that valve job though. Yeah, so I mean, it's all mm. it's ready to make some power. Two brand new, ready to rip. Guarantee it's still running seven like that. I mean, we did, we did <laughs> go seven and change with mm -hmm. this one off. Well, guys, it's routine. Uh, kill a bee, fire up week. And you'll notice that we matched the Scheister's paint scheme with this sucker. She's a little dusty, dude. We might need to give this thing a bath. Yeah, I figured we'd get a good heat cycle and get a little bit wiped down. I should take it to my house, really. Just put her in the garage. Get so the it's not just. Guy there. Yeah, because 
really fluff her up. We really need to fluff her up. She's just been sitting around. It's all unit though. Yeah. It's all unit. You, you want me to run the controls in there? You do this? Yeah, I'll squirt this out here. <laughs> What's up guys, giving you an update. I'm in the airport with Jack Stan. We're on a top secret mission. Can't tell you about it, but unfortunately we're not able to be at the shop right now. Zach is fronting the mission on putting Leroy together right now. The cylinder head from Texas Speed just got in. It's 3.30 p.m. Him, George, and Ty are kind of working uh, as a team to hopefully slap Leroy together tonight. We're supposed to leave in the morning for LS Fest. We might get delayed a little bit buttoning up Leroy. That doesn't mean we can't get to LS fast and work on them there a little bit too, but we're trying to get them done. Really, it's just put the clutch on and put the cylinder head on and put the engine in. Everything else should be plug and play. So we're hoping it goes together quickly and easily, but you just never know. So shout out to Tech Speed. These problems happen. It's the real world. But uh, we'll update you soon. Thanks for watching New For Dale. We'll freaking see you later.